Hi, on behalf of Kentaurus Medical and Greg Mees, and today we're going to break bread about the muscle of the elbow joint. So, uh, before we're going to focus on muscles, let's just first say something about the nerves in this area. See, this side here, this is like a lateral view, we have radial nerve. Uh, and then on this side, just parallel to the radial nerve, we have muscular cutaneous nerve. And then somehow on the middle, we have median, nervus medianus. And then just uh, parallel to median nerve, we have medial antebrachial cutaneous nerve. And then from the posterior view, uh, we have ulnar, near, ulnar near nerve. Yeah. So now if we focus on the muscles, First, we will do this action. This is flexion. Flexion probably is the most important move because with this move you can grab food and eat it. Uh, first muscle here is biceps brachii. Biceps brachii has two heads. First head is the short head and originates from the apex of coracoid process. Don't forget that this area here here, this is insertion for pectoralis minor as well, and origin for coracal brachialis. And then another head, long head, is here. Uh, this area is called supraglenoid tubercle. And then it goes here. You see, this is a sulcus between lesser and greater tuberosity. The, uh, the tendon goes down and then inserts over here. This area here is called radial tuberosity. And then biceps brachii originates even on uh, fascia or forearm via bicipital aponeurosis. Now, I just want to share you something about the fascia. See, here I have uh, a chicken, yeah? and this would be muscle. And then the fascia basically is this. This is basically the fascia then, right? Good. And sometimes, People were mixing uh, ligaments, tendons, and fascia. So, ligament, right? Ligament would be this. They join bone to bone, right? So, humerus to radius, yeah? And then you have uh, radio collateral ligament, right? And then, of course, it can be even transverse view. This will be annual ligament. So, they join bone to bone. And then you have tendons. Tendons, they join muscle to bone, right? And then you have fascia. Yeah. Uh, histologically, of course, basically they have the same material, collagen, yeah? this is a protein. But the difference is in function and action, because the fascia, doesn't matter if it's uh, superficial, deep, uh, visceral or parietal, they basically surround surrounds muscle or organ. That's basically just the difference between these three parts. So now we talk about the insertion of biceps brachii. And the nerve supply bicep it gets from musculocutaneous nerve, the same as coracobrachiae. And then underneath biceps brachii, there is brachial brachialis muscle. And let's focus on origin of brachialis muscle. Basically, this is anterior surface, and then distal part, this is origin of brachialis. And then brachialis goes to ulnar tuberosity and this area here, conoid, conoid process, right? And the same nerve supply gets from muscular cutaneous. And then the last muscle which does uh, flexion in the elbow joint is brachial radialis uh, for, to find origin. Uh, this is very, very superficial muscle. We need to go to the lateral side, lateral side and then supra, supracondyl reach two-thirds of proximal supracondyl ridge over here and then it goes down uh, and just inserts superior to stylet process of radius so lesser surface of distal end it does not basically does not insert on stylet process but just uh, superior to it so this will be flexion at the elbow joint now let's focus on extension yeah from here to here, extension. Very, very um, popular muscle is again uh, triceps brachii. You can see for some bodybuilders, 
you can very lovely see the long head and lateral head yeah because the middle head you can't see because it lies underneath underneath long and uh, lateral head so if we start with long head uh, for biceps, we said it originates here. So triceps will originate over here. Yeah. This is inferior, inferior part. And then it will insert on the triceps tendon. And then the tendon will insert over here, just superior to uh, olecranon and bursa. So this is, uh, this part here is a bursa. Then, ole or then triceps will insert over here right good and now let's focus on medial head i don't know if you can see but here is a sulcus this is basically radial groove of the radial nerve and the medial head is of course on posterior surface but superior to radial groove and then uh, lateral head will be inferior to this radial groove right and they all heads will insert over here through this triceps tendon. Good. And the nerve supply triceps brachii gets from radial nerve. And then a tiny, tiny small muscle which does extension in elbow as well is anconius. Nerve supply gets from radius, radialis as well. And basically it originates from posterior uh, lateral epicondyle, right? And then inserts over here. This is lateral olecranon and posterior surface of ulna. So if we said that triceps inserts here, then anconius goes over here, like this, till here. Uh, it's quite small muscle. Good. And now uh, let's focus on supination and pronation. Uh, I can't show it on skeleton, but I think I, I will able to do it. So this is basically supination. Uh, you can do it from this, or from this, but if you do it from the flex position, the biceps brachii gets involved as well. The primary muscle here is supinator. Now, supinator is originates from lateral epicondyle from here and inserts from the ulna as well, and then it goes like this, so it forms uh, posterior, lateral, and slightly anterior surface of radius and the nerve is radial nerve and then another muscle when we said if we flex is biceps brachii which was already described and now let's focus on pronation now pronation main muscle here basically we have two muscles pronator teres and pronator quadratus pronator teres is superficial muscle and i can't show it here um, I'm trying to show you on me, if you can see. So this is from medial epicondyle, right? If we go to medial surface of lateral surface of radius, yeah? If we do something like this, yeah? And it pronates. So I want to show you here as well. It goes from, it goes from here, it goes from here, medial epicondyle, and then goes to here, to the radius, middle of lateral surface of radius. And of course, pronated teres is innervated by median nerve. And then one of the most deepest, basically the most deep muscle is pronated quadratus and forms this area here. Basically, uh, distal one quarter of ulna and then inserts on the distal one quarter of radius and it's innervated by um, median nerve. Uh, now about something about the elbow joint, right? Uh, elbow joint basically we have here three parts. First part is humeral radio joint, you see. Here we have here we have uh, capitulum humeri and here we have fovea articularis and they form humeral radio joint and here we have trochlea and here we have incisura, they form humeral ulna joint. And over here, if you can see, this is proximal radial ulna joint and incisura radialis is on ulna. So that's about this.
Thank you.